Aha! A very good evening to you and DQ Do. It's me, Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about and the one that everyone is watching now. Uh, my sincere apologies, but there's a delay in tonight's broadcast. We usually start at 9 o'clock tonight. Of course, we started at 9.30 or thereabouts. Dinky do, I say to you, I hope you all got the message from me, Scotty McClure. It's the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's Gareth Owen saying hello. Hello, Gareth. Lovely to have you with us. Ian Pugh's watching. And Sharice. Yes! Sharice, you naughty, naughty girl, you are very, very, very generous giving all that money to Scotty McClure to help grow the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I say, from the bottom of my heart. Fantastic. Thank you, Sharice. Thank you. That's thank you. And I'll also blow you a kiss as well. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Hola, says Sharice. Hola to you, my darling. Uh, hi, Scotty. Thank you, do Yvonne. And uh, lovely to have you with us as well. Happening, my man, says James McKelvey. Uh, good evening, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Good evening, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us. I am, of course, broadcasting from a secret location, so I can't go into that, but it's great to be with you. I hope you've had a tremendous week. It's been a very, very successful week at the Scotty McClue organization, and dinky-doo to every single one of you. Oi, oi, Scotty. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, hi, Scotty, says Andy Beatty. Lovely to have you with us. Michelle was better in the red dress, says Mike McCabe. Uh, well done, Sherry, says Dino the Doug. Uh, give Sharon Shout outs to get the show and start taking calls, says Stephen Clark. We're working on it, Stephen. That's going to be the next step. This is why I need a few pennies from PayPal and GoFundMe, because I want to grow the show, get the advertiser going. Um, and I missed that, Shanice. Mark Andrews, Andy Hood, lovely to have you all with us. Douglas McPherson, Tony Mack, Sunday night's not complete without you, says Tony Mack. And the same to you, Tony Mack. I could very well say the same thing to your good self. Uh, Hunter George, did you do? Frankie Keen is joining us. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Tam Gallagher, hello. Excellent to have you as well. If you've just joined us, guys, you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's short broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, a bit later tonight than usual. We usually kick off at 9 o'clock sharp. Tonight, I uh, was delayed. I was out to dinner, and um, I thought to myself, 9.30, warn the troops, let everybody know. Hello, says Ned McMillan. There's the generous Sharice gave a fortune to Scotty McClure. Thank you for that. I like your outfit, pal, says Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Will the car park be open to let you out, or will you be in there all night, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Well, you never know. I may well be here all night, Derek Jimmy Walker. What time are you on to Scotty? Well, we can certainly do it till 10 o'clock and maybe even till 10.30. We'll see what the demand is. If you've just joined us, folks, Michelle James says, take calls. We'll do our best, Michelle. We can't really take calls as such. The wonderful Ronnie Stevenson watching. He should be in his bobos by now. David Rendell, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us as well. You're watching Scotty McClue, guys, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Whiskey Scotty, says Sharice. Time to call this, Scotty, says Scott Dixon. Well, Scott Dixon, you were well warned. Did you see the big purple notice telling you tonight's broadcast would be at 9.30 p.m.? I sent out four of these. Hope you're enjoying your holiday, Scotty. Uh, I was in Inverness yesterday. What a lovely day for independence. Yes, you'd be amazed how close I have been to Inverness. Speaking of troops, Bruce is listening. Uh, what's up for debate tonight, sir? Everything. We debate everything on here. I don't want to come in too heavy with the politics because I think you get fed up with hearing that on the radio. But what I can tell you is Scotty McClure is now officially the man who makes 
talk radio work. There are so many talk radio stations now and they are missing a trick. I'm not going to reveal what they're doing wrong on here, but as you know, McClue would get an audience like that. And why? You know, you know. Inverness, beautiful place, Sisters. Hello, says Liz Boyd. Single mothers, says Graham Loudon. I think we've given that a real good test, Graham Loudon, to be quite honest with you. I want to move on and discuss more and more things with you lovely guys, because this is proper talk radio. Interesting. I was in touch this week with a lot of American stations and American media owners who are very, very keen on Scotty McClure. Uh, get people to send you their problems and give them an answer. Remember how funny you were years ago? Yes, well, hopefully I'm so funny. The wonderful Gordon Roddick's watching one of our great broadcasters. Lovely to have you with us, Gordon. Welsh man wins Tour de France, Scotty. So there you are. Well, a French man could maybe win the Tour de Wales or the Tour de Wales. So there you are. What would you call it? What would be? Come on. Where's all these people when you need them? Good evening. I hope you're well, says Angela Goodlett. I am, Angela. Good evening, Scotty. Well done to Gary Anderson and winning the darts, says Steve Burrows. Of course, Steve. And I know you had to dash off and see that. Well, how are ghosts real, says Liz Boyd. Liz, I've actually um, shared a house with a ghost. I couldn't see anything, but I knew exactly that there was a presence. So do let me know if you've shared a house with a ghost. Do a dab, Scotty. Ha ha! Hit the dab. You can't beat it. I like to have a different, unique voice on the radio. I think this is important. What do you think, Scotty? Yes, we need to have a national show with Scotty McClure on the BBC or ITV or one of the big radio companies, right? Otherwise, I go and do it from America. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do to you, says Gordon Drysdale. Single mothers, we don't have enough of them, says Dino the Doug. Ghosts are real, says Neil O'Gormley. Of course they are, Neil. I was typing one night in the room. Neil Emsley watching. Neil O'Gormley, ghosts are real. And I was typing and I just got drawn to the centre of the room. Felt very, very, very cold. And there was a presence there. And I said, who are you? And what can I do for you? And the ghost relaxed. So there you are. True story. Right? I tell you straight. So there you are. I S H one T U not. Uh, good to see you back. So there we are. Uh, what about M B E? Dinky do. Is it a good bite to eat? He's given us all a treat. Go on later tonight. Well done. Well, I dashed back from an official dinner to be with all you guys. That's how important you are. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live, the world's great broadcast platform. If you were to come to America, where would you want to live, says Graham Loudon? I don't know. I think I should go directly to New York. But somebody said Scotty McClure would go very well between the Carolinas. Uh, sorry I'm late, Scotty. Caught up in the 3,000 crowd in Inverness. Sandy, you would do, or the 30,000 crowd in Inverness. I think, actually, because you're so keen on the whole independence thing, you're always going to get caught up in these big rallies, Sandy. Serves you right for going there. There you go. But I'm glad you've realized that your mob are going to spend the rest of the century in the wilderness. So there you are. Oh, Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. Don't get me wrong. You're a top man. And they were a great party in their day. But I think the last great thing that was actually said in that party was when, um, uh, what was his name? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. And uh, he asked he asked Ramsay McDonald to sit down. So there you are. Jamie Maxton, James Maxton asked Ramsay McDonald to sit down, man. He said, sit down, man, you're a tragedy.
So there you are. And that's the last big thing. How was your dinner, Mr. Thomas Hamilton? An official dinner. Marvellous. True detective story. My mother had not long died. I felt a tug in my collar and slowed right down as you would. Came to a bend which was covered in black ice. Work that out. There you are. Very, very good. Has anybody else ever experienced a presence like that. You give a shout out for those in the Invergowrie Inn listening to you tonight. Invergowrie. Thank you do. So the dinner was free. You can't beat that kind of dinner, Scotty. Shoe and buzz in there, thank you do, says Charisse. I understand. Derek Jimmy Walker, the best. Absolutely. Now, guys, get yourselves busy, 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 busy. How do we get Scotty McClure on national television for half an hour a week? 11 till 11.30, BBC, ITV, one of the big channels, Sky, satellite channels. Let's get on, get the phones hooked up and get you guys joining in. That's how you do talk radio. So there we are. David Phil, thank you do. Stephen Mooney, thank you do. Ben Lucas, thank you do. You're all wanting a wave. Wave, wave, wave. There we are. Excellent. There we go. Fantastic stuff. You've all had a wave now. So, you know, buzz, 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 says Charisse now. Charisse can do no wrong in my eyes. She put a good whack of money into Scotty McClure's GoFundMe. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. Gary Cross and my deceased mother-in-law visited one night. The dog going nuts, barking at the dining room, went over, and it was freezing. Goosebumps, hair on the neck, standing up, says Gary Cross, and there you are. Well, you're lucky. You've got hair in your neck. Uh, hi, love the tie. Is that Glen Torn tie? So there you are. Uh, no, no, it's not, actually. Check the jacket. Scotty, have you heard of a chap called Colin Mitchell? If you're talking about Lieutenant Colonel Colin Mitchell of the Four Star Island Sutherland Highlanders, their commanding officer when they went into Aden in 1967. Then, yes, I have heard of him very much. His background and my background tie up. So there you are. You've got no chance on virgins, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Well, no, we don't need to go on it. Just more big platforms. Otherwise, we have to go to America and do it on America because I've been talking to some very, very, very pivotal people in the media in America, and it is huge. Uh, doing visiting Scotty, say hello to Claire and Jeff, says John Adams. Absolutely. You can always feature in Crime Watch, Scotty, says Dino the Doug. Presenting it, I would hope. Me, McClure, give us a clue. Hello, sorry I'm late, says Louis Faber. Louis, you're not. I actually was the one who's late tonight. We didn't start broadcasting till 9.30. So you're not actually that late now. How are we doing for time? Can we share, 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 share? I hope, <coughs> pardon me, you can see all of Scotty McClure's posts on uh, Facebook <coughs> because I did tell you I'd be on a little bit later tonight, but very important, I've been teaching you the piano. Now, it's a seven-minute lesson, and it's for those of you who have been told at some point in your life, oh, you couldn't play the piano, that's too hard for you. That's for clever people. News flash, Scotty McClure will teach you to play the piano in seven minutes. Okay, excellent. Good man, Scotty, you know a lot about everything. Very impressed on here. The lovely Liz Lyons watching Dinky Doo, Liz. Big, big fan of yours and your lovely family, your brother, your lovely mother and father. Knew them well. Great people. Sorry I'm a bit late, Scotty. I was watching Love Island. Well, no, no, they'll get an audience as well. Don't worry. Even although Scotty McClue's on, I suspect Love Island will still get an audience. So there you go. That's television for you. Can I come with you to America as a cleaner, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Derek Jimmy Walker, I will not have you putting yourself down. You can come as a PA. So there we are. Can I play the piano with no play piano, Scotty? Sharice, what you do is you pick out what I'm saying, you find a piano. Century 105, right? Lots of exclusive McClue footage 
Trouble at the top, absolutely. This is better than Love Island's as Gary Crossan. I'd love to work with you on radio. You inspired me into it, says Tony Mack. Well, Tony Mack, you've inspired me since. So there you are. Fair exchange is no robbery, as my old mother used to say. Going to the USA. Right, find out about the media for Scotty McClure. Paul Francis Carroll, one of our finest organists in the country. Meeting some fine pilot chaps, says Douglas McPherson. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with the cleaner, says Sharice. No, there isn't, Sharice. But I don't want him thinking he has to come in any way subordinate to me. Are you with me? The studio in the Century 105 looked great. Century 105 was a fabulous radio station. And we're actually having a reunion this September with uh, all the old people. Do you remember the manager, John Myers? Folk like that. So we're all going to meet up in Manchester and have a reunion for Century 105, one of the finest radio stations in the country ever. The other great one was Scott FM, Scotland's finest radio hour. No station has ever come close to Scott FM and Century 105. And that's not just because Scotty McClure was on them. Uh, Chris Marsden, thank you, do. Uh, Love Island, Jeff Salim's not a fan. So there you are, but you're a Scotty McClure fan. We like that. Uh, John Myers, Morgan in the morning, says Stephen Weymouth. That's right, Big John, yes. Knock, knock, who's there, says David Philp. I don't know, David. I can't press see more or I might lose the broadcast. And I can't risk that, dear boy. Uh, so there you are. And um, we are the people, Chris, says Jav Salim. Well done for you. Derek, you're honoured. Poor Scotty. What could I be in then? Hold on. I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to give my coupon a wee wipe down because it gets very hot under the studio lights. Oh, what? There you go. Right. That's that done. Bun it back on and we are back in business. So there you go. Excellent stuff. Stuart McKenna has just joined us. Dinky do. Now, guys, if you've just joined us, sorry about the, the big coupon up at the camera there. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Q96 in Paisley was good radio. That was another great radio station. Sadly, no more. Don't forget West Sound, says David Phil. Yeah, West Sound, the great Sydney Divine on West Sound. It's busy tonight. This is fair taking off, says Gary Cross. And Gary Cross it. If you've got the people of the world and you've got Scotty McClure, it's bound to take off. Okay? That's what it's about. I still have your autograph, says Liz Boyd. Had it for 10 years. Are there any radio stations interested in having you as a presenter again? Miss the phone -ins. The problem with the radio stations, they put a lot of young guys who are music people in charge. They don't know anything about phone-ins. So rather than find out about them, they say, no, I'll just, I'll just play music. Lisa Clark, I played the piano and sang in your class. Yes, you did. And you're tremendous. Uh, you are the man, Mr. McClure, says Jav Salim. And you are the man, Jav Salim. Can we have a share, please, guys? Gary Crossell says, whoever has McClure has the market. Absolutely. Share, 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 share. Let's get sharing now, guys. Come on. All your groups, all your friends on Facebook, I want them all on here right now. Right this minute. Uh, Trouble at the Top, one of the best programs can be seen on YouTube. Still walk past Merchant's Key, a great place. Yep, I should have uh, bought myself a little flat down there, Media City. I think the first ever Scottish local radio station was Radio Clyde. Is this correct? Not entirely, Tony. Radio Clyde did come on with the ILRs in 1973 when you had Capital Radio, Radio 4th, uh, I think it was a little bit later. Then I started up Central FM <coughs> in 1990. But uh, shout out to me, says Sal Williams. Of course, Sal. Can't share it, so they are shared. 
says Alex Robertson. Brilliant, Alex. Um, but with regards to radio, you had Radio Scotland. When the present Radio Scotland didn't come on till 1979. It was the old Scottish Home Service. Sounded, this is the BBC Home Service. Right, and you're the Scottish opt out. Scotty, can you say hello to Claire and Jeff again? First time listeners, says John Adams. Of course I can, John. Who's your favourite singer band, Scotty? So many of them. Just telling somebody that I'm a big Billy Joel fan. Uh, hello, Scotty, says Gordon Cole. There we are, wet, wet, wet. Tremendous stuff. So there you go. Um, all these, all these great bands. Um, I can't share the button's not there, says Sharice. They may be taking it off you, Sharice. You're maybe sharing Scotty McClure too much. But, um, no, the first Radio Scotland was the Pirate. And, um, they used to be out in, uh, I think they were off the Clyde coast at one point, but I think they were in the North Sea. And um, they were Radio Scotland's playing just for you. So beat the band and join the clan on Station 242. There we are. Uh, Scotty, do you have military service, old chap? Ah, well, I won't be going into that snap. A naked woman ran through Leith today. No one can remember her face, says Dino the Duck. So there you go. Ah, they don't look. That's the problem with the Leithers. Neil Diamond. Well, I went to see Neil Diamond in concert at Sheffield Arena with John Myers that we were talking about earlier. John and I went over with his family and we watched Neil Diamond in concert at the Sheffield Arena when I joined um, Red Rose Gold 26 years ago. Might have been 26 years ago this Sunday. Scotty grew up with Radio Clyde 261 and my own printed mugs and pens of David Phil. Radio Clyde was a wonderful, wonderful station. The brands in Scotland, Texas, says uh, Derek Jimmy Walker. I didn't realize you're from Texas. Scotty, you should get Tony Mack to do an interview with you. The man is a fantastic presenter. I, I know I would agree. Jerry Rafferty, a legend. Yes, Baker Street. Fantastic. Say hi to Lorna Blair, says Gordon Cole. Love Scotland, says Addison Alves Drew. Have I, have I said that right? So there you go. But uh, the Pirate Station Radio Scotland, and they were based in, um, now it was just, was it Vinicom Street? They were based just off Hill Head. That was their shore office. Um, I seen him at Hamden Park, says Sharice. You didn't see him, Sharice. You saw him. I'm just doing the old grammatical here. Can you shout out for my brother, Mick the Gulls, Smith, big chap, <laughs> Headley McCarthy, canned heat. Can you say hello to Jamie Lee for me, Scotty, says David Allen. Scotty, you're better than the telly. You're in form tonight, says Mark Finley. Mark Finley, you are a top man. Liz Boyd, Martin Offler, ah, Martin Offler, Dire Straits, remember that? Do you remember that wonderful Scottish movie? Anybody remember what it was called? So there you are, the one about the oil. Who can remember that? <coughs> Pardon me, a little bit of a cough here. I rushed in tonight, guys, so I haven't had time to make tea. Mac is a great name on the radio. Do you remember the late, great Jimmy Mac? I do him, Jimmy McRitchie, a wonderful man. And Jimmy was from Gurukh, I think, if I remember back. Jimmy Mac, wonderful show. He had lovely voice, lovely, rich voice. Scotty, is there a theme? Says David William Bavir. Do you mean a theme to the show when you start and finish? Or do you mean, are we themed? Or is it a themed broadcast? What do you actually mean? What's the most crazy call you've ever had? Says Lisa Clark. I have had several crazy, crazy calls. I remember one guy uh, who used to stay on just to say that I was SH1T. And then he would leave again. Imagine that. Stayed on the radio for hours. James was his name. Some would say, James is in the line. I would say, James, what can I do for you? He would go, you are, and say that word, the naughty word. And uh, that was that. Simon O is watching. Dinky do, Simon O. Lovely to have you with us. So there are, do you remember Hawaii Five-O? Are you any relation, I ask you? Right, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. It's the Scotty McClure Show. We're live on Facebook Live. Now, the top brands in Scotland, there's a wonderful, Adam Fuller's just joined us. Uh, the top brands in Scotland were Radio Clyde, 
Tunnock's Caramel Wafers, Bars Iron Brew, and Scotty McClue. That's Scotland's top brands. How about that? So there you are. So the radio stations need to take a wee tumble to themselves, eat a little bit of humble pie, give Scotty McClue a ring and say, come on and do a show for us, big man. Local hero. That's it, David Rendell. If we had a prize, you would get it. <coughs> oh, pardon me. It's nothing to do with uh, talking on the radio. I've got a cough. Children's Hour on the BBC, the Scottish Home Service. Yes. Now, can you remember who presented it? It was a lady called Auntie Kathleen. Kathleen Garscadden. There you go. You should get a live audience question and answer on the go again, Scotty. Well, Rab, we've got one. I'm asking you questions, right? Big Country and Bay City Rollers. Yes, now you're talking. Scotty, can you say hi to anyone that knows me, says Dino the Doug. Well, that would just be other Dugs, Dino. So there you are. They'll come round your house. Evening from Dublin, says Peter Barrett. Oh, you're down in Dublin there. That's marvellous. Uh, Dino the Dog, hi, says Shemis. Wadge has joined us. Wadge Hashmi. Excellent. Uh, Susan Stevens, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. A superb lady who stays down in the south of England. And um, I just got back from Northern Ireland. Do your best Northern Irish accent, says Lisa Clark. I don't know if I've got it right. Would that be fair? The one I'm doing just now, right? If I was to get up in the morning and make you an Ulster fry with soda bread, that sort of thing, is that a good Northern Irish accent, folks? Say hi to the wife, Tracy. She has to put up with me listening to you, says James Adamson. Late, late, says Thomas Hamilton. Tut, 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 tut. Tut, 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 tut. Susan Stevens, I was just thinking about you today. What a fabulous lady you are. And I haven't been in touch for far too long. And your lovely family. Remember, I went into the cubicle at Hamilton Services, says Martin Lowe. Now, don't, Martin. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to just ban you. And then the lovely thing is we'll never, ever hear from you again. There we are. I've just blocked that guy, so you won't hear from him again. How fantastic is that? Stovies definitely have sausage meat in them, says Ian Hales. Ian Hales, I don't know about this. Guys, let's have it straight. Have you ever eaten Stovies? Right? Have you ever eaten Stovies? And if you have, have you ever had meat in your Stovies? Do tell us. It's very, very important. So there you are. Uh, to be fair, to be fair. Right, tell me about the accent if you thought it was any good or if you didn't. Guys, if you've just joined me, if uh, I've popped up in your inbox and you're thinking, who on earth is this old guy? Then uh, it's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. This program is global. We're right around the world. Let me know where you're watching. Guys, get sharing again. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. <coughs> I know a lot of you have to dash off. You're working early in the morning. Doesn't mean anything to me. I can get up early, late, middle of the night, all sorts of things. One guy thought I was an insomniac. I'm not. I just work very, very long hours and can get by with very little sleep. Have we all shared? Come on, I want a bit of sharing going on. Share, 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 share. Excellent stuff. Cheers, dinky do, Scotty. No problem at all. Now, folks, is there meat in Stovey's big, big question tonight? And we do want an answer before we finish. The other thing I'm going to ask you tonight, a little bit of a brain teaser. My eyes have a cold nose. What am I talking about? All right, get yourselves on with that. My eyes have a cold nose. What am I talking about? Do tell. Spill the beans. So there you are. If you've just joined us, Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, broadcasting from a secret 
location, okay? So very important. I can't actually tell you where I am broadcasting from. I'm broadcasting from a secret location. Just so you can get a wee bit more light for you guys. Very, very important. Lots happening here tonight. Now, um, stovies definitely have sausage meat in them, says this guy. I don't know about that. I really don't. Uh, Scotty, you should come and join us at Sunny G on 103. Uh, FM, John Doc. John Doc, I've heard Sonny G on a number of occasions. A very, very good radio station. So there you are. Very, very good indeed. Good for you. Lisa Clark, love it. Woof, woof, Dino, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Excellent stuff. Cheers, Scotty Dinky. Duh. There we are. I'm having to. Hugh Simes watching. Wanting a wave. Excellent. Give him a wave. Wagon Wheel Biscuits. Yes, meat, there's mince and corned beef. No, no, I don't think that's stovies. That's what you call a corn beef hash. So there you go. Corn beef hash, excuse me, just giving the coupon a wipe down. Oh, the heat in here is overwhelming. A very, very warm summer's evening where I am broadcasting from. Julianne, Scott, we could have done with you earlier. We were just wanting to know how you would call whales. Is it fluid? Fluid, right? Fluid, fluid. There we go. Excellent stuff. Now, uh, folks, I've taught you to play the piano in seven minutes. Look out for that on YouTube and also look out for it on your Facebook Live page. I don't know how many... Uh, broadcast the algorithm will let you see. Some people say, hi, I can't see you, Scotty. So that's why you get a lot of shares. So if you can all share, 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 that would be fantastic. Right, up we go. Uh, Who have we got here? Done it, pal. Excellent. From Nottingham, says Steve Burrows. Good. Steve, excellent. You're on from Nottingham. Where else are the rest of you? Come on, America. Russia, China, Japan, spill the beans. Very, very important. Spill the beans. Who else have we got? Eee. So there you are. Faithless tearing off tights with his teeth. Sharice, you obviously have a more interesting life than the rest of us. Uh, Scotty, have you heard of Jock Doglish? Have you heard of Kenny Doglish? So there we are. Yes, there's mints in the stories. Scotty, thank you for inspiring me into radio, helping me not give up on radio. Never, ever, ever, ever give up Tony Mac. All right? You might have to do other things to supplement your income, but don't give up on your radio. If you love radio, you'll not give up on it. You know, I've got a big friend that says, why do you do it, man? Why do you do it? That's what he says to me. I say, I do it because I love it, and the people love it. There's a massive, massive audience out there for Scotty McClure broadcasting on radio and television. You and I just need to be united, and then I can give you a whacker, an absolute corker of a program. Now, I think one of the big television companies, BBC, ITV, Friday night, 11 till 11.30, pick the spot, off we go, yes? And we take calls, and we chit-chat, and we discuss. What's not to like Scotty McClure live on your telly and radio? Dinky do. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Now, who else have we got here? There's, when are you back in McClure Towers? My mum made stovies with mince. Says um, uh, Neil O'Gormley, when are you back in McClude Towers? Ah, probably within the next uh, wee while. So there we go. Potted meat and new potatoes, Scotty. Happy day. Stephen Weymouth, you're talking about potted heed. Potted heed that wasn't in the stovies. So there you are. I've never heard of it. Potted heed in the stovies. Wagon wheel biscuits used to be massive. Every biscuit has got smaller. They were. And can you remember the bag? A big yellow and red bag the wagon wheels were in. How good was that? So there we go. Dinky do, folks. I'm just moving you about a little bit. Excellent. See if we can get a wee bit more light. I know I'm a bit dark these days, but that's because um, we're broadcasting 
from a secret location. So that's what's happened there. Just going to see and move this along a wee bit, get you a wee bit more light. Does that make my face go blue? <laughs> it does. I've got a blue face. I've got a blue nose, guys, and a purple chin. Uh, got your piano lessons, Scotty, eh? says James Adamson. Hope to see more. Excellent, James. If you stick to that, you can now play the piano. Let's see if we can get some blue eyes. I'll lift this up a bit. How's that? There you go. Blue eyes for you now. Excellent. Yes. There to meet them, pal. There's meeting them. Missed you on the old radio show, bud. I think you should do it again. It was great to hear your show on the radio, says Paul O'Hare. I think we'll be going back to that, Paul. Guys, could I have more sharing, please? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Share, share. Oi, oi, there's mints in stories, says Sharice. She's done or not. Say hallelujah, says Kaliana Amira. Kaliana Amira. Hallelujah, amen to that, I say. The wonderful Francis Basili is watching. Dinky do, my gorgeous darling. Mm, hotel receptionist of the year. What a fabulous lady. I knew you would make it big. Francis was Scotty McClure's lovable lassie and did a tremendous job. Outstanding. There you are. The audience loved her, loved her as much as me. So there you go. And the audience loved McClure pretty big style. James Allison, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Guys, get everybody involved. Let the newspapers know McClure's back. Sunday nights, normally we broadcast at 9 o'clock sharp. Tonight we're broadcasting at 9.30. And we'll see. We'll go along for a little bit more. What's the time now? You look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> How fabulous is that? Who puts the light suit? It's dark. It is a bit dark. I've got some more lights here, though. I don't know if I can see if I can get a bit more light. Is that any help, guys? Does that brighten things up a wee bit? Or does that just look a bit more skinny? So there we are. Lisa Clark, did you do? Scotty, I can't see you. I'm here. I'm here. There are Rill, says Craig Kennedy. He's watching down in Rill in North Wales. Fantastic. So there we are. And uh, Nos Dai, say, Wales, Wales is called Cymru, says Julianne Scott. Cymru, as in Plaid Cymru. So there we are. So what is Hlud then? When you hear people say Hlud, C-L- Y-L-D, is it? C-L-Y-L-D, C-L-Y-D, Hlud. What's that? I know it's part of Wales as well, but is it, does it refer to the whole country? Hi, Walter, says Walter McIntyre. He's saying hi to himself. Hi to yourself, Walter McIntyre. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world stop broadcaster saying dinky do to every single one of you right across Facebook. And we are live as we speak. Every Sunday night, nine o'clock sharp, never ever miss a second of Scotty McClure. You miss a second of Scotty McClure. You miss a moment of life. Look out for the piano lesson. I've taught you that. I'm also playing the piano. See if you can name that tune. I'm also playing the pipe organ. See if you can name that tune. We did a pop-up on Friday night. Get that round as well. Scotty, is this a promo? No, no, it's not a promo. We're actually doing a live show, guys. So there we are, live show. Sausages, boiled, and tatties, and onions, says Denny Jimmy Walker in the stories. Liz Boyd is in Wishy, Wishaw, in Scotland, central Scotland. Insomnia, says Sharice. No, Sharice, we don't have insomnia. We just have excitement. That's what it's all about. Davy Mortimer from Coat Bridge. Lovely to have you with us, Davy. A great name there. And uh, the answer to your riddle, is it a book? Julianne Scott, no, it's not a book. All right, so have another go. The riddle, guys, for tonight is as follows. My eyes have a cold nose. What am I talking about? All right, my eyes have a cold nose. 
What am I talking about? All will be revealed before the end of the program. So no sleepless nights for you lot. Okay, dinky do. Tony Macaroni, so Sharice, no, 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 Tony Mac. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Now, who else have we got? Catherine Delaney from Bailiston. Dinky do from Bailiston. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, Bailiston was the home of Rio Radio. Remember Rio Radio? So there we are. The wonderful, wonderful Douglas Lawrence is watching. Douglas Lawrence, I was thinking about you tonight. Somebody was playing the Battle of the Psalm and the Pipes at the dinner. And I was thinking we could have done with Glen Calla Castle. How about that? That's Glen Calla Castle, is that right? Douglas McPherson. Okay, here's an interesting one. Um, do you know where the phrase happy as Larry? comes from no is the answer douglas mcpherson so you will have to spill my boy spill 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 everybody's right into that big time where does the phrase happy as larry come from here's another one for you when uh, there was the great fire of london in the 1560s am i right and the uh, old st paul's the old cathedral which would have a lot of wood in it and everything, went up in the fire. So that was the end of Old St. Paul's. And um, Westminster Abbey, right, in the Catholic days before the Reformation in the 1560s, would have been St. Peter's, all right, St. Peter's Westminster, the great church of St. Peter. St. Peter, of course, the first pope, the man that founded the Roman church. Now, very interesting here. When Christopher Wren built the new St. Paul's in the 1660s, i.e. the St. Paul's we've got now, he took a bit of land from St. Peter's. And that's where you get the phrase, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Now, did you know that? So there we are. So where, Douglas McPherson, a oh, great one, does happy as Larry come from? I meant one, says Douglas McPherson. How about a podcast, says Lisa Clark. Lisa, what would be different about a podcast from what I'm doing here? Because podcasts are very big in America, and they want me to podcast. <coughs> but what I'm saying, what would be the difference? <coughs> you must excuse me, guys. I've got a bit of a cough anyway. There you go. Everybody thought Scotty McLean was dead. Who came up with that, says Sharice? I don't know, Sharice. I think if you're not up in front of people all the time, I've lost him and all that kind of thing. Just a lot of nonsense. Right, there we go. What have we got? So there we are. Charles McLaughlin, a book by Hector Chevigny. No, no, it's not a book by Hector Chevigny. Hi, Walter, says Walter Mount. Now this guy's saying hi to himself. I love it. Douglas Lawrence, so there we are. On with the two fours, a two four pipe march. That would be something like far or stray, Douglas Lawrence. So it would sound like there you are, Doug's Lounge. I was thinking about you the other day because I was in that place that you and I met the last time I saw you. Potted heat, says Charisse. So there we are. Larry is an American with a deck chair and a rifle and weather balloons, right? So at 20,000 feet, passing airline pilots spotted Happy Larry. Douglas McPherson, you are a big wow. That is amazing. So there we go. Right, what else have we got? Toffee yo-yos were my favorite biscuit. They need to bring them back. Let's petition for this right now, Scotty. 
Bring back the trophy yo-yos. And I'll tell you, bring back the actual yo-yos. You know the wee strings that they went up and down? I was thinking about that wee song. Have you seen a red yo-yo with a wee yellow string? And then our wee Annie. She spoke to the Janny. A decent wee man as a rule. And it's pleasing to tell that he rang his wee bell and he asked every wain in the school, all together now, have you seen a red yo-yo, red yo-yo, red yo-yo, have you seen a red yo-yo with a wee yellow string? Excellent stuff, right. So we need to bring back the yo-yos. Go on my page, Scotty, you'll see the Indie March. A beautiful sight, says James Adamson. I'm sure, James, absolutely sure. I have no doubt Scotland would do extremely well, independently administered by itself. Uh, he's in the record books, says Douglas McPherson. I'll check him up, Douglas. No problem at all. Mark Andrews. What happened to Dundee biscuits? Yes, and Dundee cake. That was the great thing. The Dundee cake. We loved that. How's the time, guys? Who can tell me what the time is? Very important. Wait till I shake my mouse. I don't have the time in front of me. What have I got here? Oh, 18 minutes past 10. It's nearly time I wasn't here. So there we are. We'll run on for a few minutes more. And then we will be saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Am I better back a bit? Do you prefer that? I need to get a bit of weight off right enough before I go on the telly or you'll all be complaining. So there you go. And the blue nose, better than a brown one, my friend. Well, as you know, Scotty McClue has never been much of a brown-nosed person. So there you are. Scotty, they should bring back national service. I think it would be a great idea, says Gary Cross. And well, Gary, that's a very, very interesting one, national service. So is Mad John still mad? We haven't heard from Mad John for a while. Guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on the big one. The light's better now. What if I go back? It's better. Light, light. Or is there an optimum? Shall I go there? Uh, you, you look like Casper the Ghost. Have you seen a ghost, Derek Jimmy Walker? So there we go. What's your favourite film, Scotty? I was just telling somebody, I was a great fan of the Alistair McLean's Where Eagles Dare. Anybody seen that one? And um, that was a great film, Where Eagles Dare. And um, Guns of Navarone, Force 10 from Navarone, all that sort of stuff. Um, Pop It on a Chain. Ice Station Zebra. So there we go. What else? Give me more Alistair McLean's that they turned into a film. Uh, Glen Gary Biscuit Scotty. I love them, mate. Says Stephen McMahon. You can't beat a Glen Gary Biscuit. Has anybody ever had a Gary Baldy Biscuit? So there you are. are do you like plain digestives or chocolate digestives? Do tell. Very important. Time for a quick lockdown. Then be back with you, wonderful people. Oh, gee, my goodness me. Honestly, the heat in here tonight, maybe put the glasses on to see what was going on there. Brave heart, there you are. You have to be careful how you say that. The wonderful Owen Ryan's watching, a great, great radio man, tremendous guy. So there you are. Let us know how you are doing, Oi. Um, only joking, Scotty, says Sharice. I know, Sharice, I know when you're joking. And dinky-doo to you, I say. So there we go, guys. So Scotty McClure might be having to go to America if we can't get the British radio people interested in the big national phone-in because that's the winner. And I'll tell you something else. They appointed the government... Right, I don't think it's because of the cabinet were lonely, but they appointed a minister for loneliness. Now, can you imagine the impact of a proper talk show for real people? I'm not going to say what the talk stations do wrong, but they get it very, very wrong because they don't know how to do talk radio properly. And that's why you don't get the big audiences. Whereas McClure makes talk radio work. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, psst, 
says Sharice. I am not Sharice. How dare you? So there you are. There are sausages in them, says Thomas Hamilton. Scotty, where's Wally? Oh, do you remember Wally, Dina the dog? Now, Wally used to come on. I think Wally had chickens. And uh, his wife couldn't come to the phone one night because she had a wee complaint. You know what? Don't want to say too much, you know what I mean? But should I be complaint? So there you are. Scotty, is this a promo for a slot? No, David William Bavere, this is the slot. We are live on Facebook Live, bigger than any radio or television station. But I do want to see if I can get other platforms on the go. Uh, Uber or um, Hackneys? Uber or Hackneys? says Craig McAdam. I'm not getting into that battle. I shall tell you that. Uh, who else have we got? Dinky do, Scotty, says Billy Hunter. Hey, Scotty, my mother was asking me, this is Paul O'Hare, um, was that you back? I said yes. He's never been away. She says hello to you, Scotty. She loves your show. Dinky do to Mrs. O'Hare. And welcome from Scotty McClure, Mrs. O'Hare. Lovely to have you back with us, I say. Fantastic. You're watching the Wall Street Broadcaster, the first lot of the internet. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. If the radio and television companies don't embrace the digital age, they will fade. So that's your warning, guys. Scotty McClure has tipped you the wink. Um, whatever happened to we fat Bob? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you're back off. You're a back off wind, says James Monaghan. Back off wind. I don't sail, James. So I don't know what you mean by that. Are you talking about Lee Ho, ready about, back off the wind, spill the wind, right? Ready to jibe, jibe ho, all that stuff. So there you are. But I don't know that. I've never backed off the wind. Hay fever, says so Sherry's. I think so, Sherry's. Are we touching the hay fever? But hey, hey, <laughs> hey, what's the problem? Hay fever. Hey. So there we are. All right, Davy Mortimer. How are you doing, buddy? Says Billy Hunter. Martin says, when's name that tune on Scotty? I'm working in the morning. No, no, well, I'm not playing anything tonight because I'm not actually in McClue Towers with the piano. But you'll see me playing the piano for me, uh, for you, I should say. You'll see me playing the piano for you. And you've got to guess, name that tune. So there we go. Eyes and nose, says Ebby, Eddie Doby Sr. All right. My eyes have a cold nose. What am I talking about? All right. A coup, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Derek Jimmy Walker, we're needing a coup. That's C-O-U-P for you. My goodness me, a coup. No, I made up a poem for you. It needs a bit of work, right? See a coup on yonder hillock. Go up and ask if it'll give you some millock. You see what I mean? It's needing a wee bit of work. All right, Ben Lucas. Hlud is a country. A county. Ah, Julianne Scott. Hlud is a country. But the song's about Hlud. Am I not right? McClure, you're still on after 10. So there we are. Uh, Frances was at the station in your video. Yes, she was. That's the wonderful Frances. So there you go. Scott Biddy's watching. Dinky doo. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. Right, Janice, you buzzed. What is your answer? Excellent stuff. Rab is saying, happy as Larry came from Big Marvin Aft the Scheme. What are you talking about? Can you say hello to my great lorry driver legend, Father Alex Mack? You've given him some great company in his cab radio. It will make his day, Scotty, says Tony Mack. Alex Mack. Dinky do to you, and thank you for all your wonderful driving and the things that you've done for so many other people. Excellent stuff, I say. Uh, Billy Hunter, Annette Hunter, sis, get Ian Patek. 
to watch Scotty, says Billy Hunter. Guys, more sharing, more sharing. Come on. Share, 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 share. You're watching Scotty McClure. By the lock side, I met a maiden, says David Rendell. Right, so there you are. Now, David Rendell, that's called lock inside. All right, that's it. Lock inside, if I remember. Good morning, Scotty. From Australia, says Erica Mayer. How's the fox, Erica? The fox is dinky do, but I haven't seen him for a while, so I'm not actually in McClure Towers, but I hear great things. Dinky do, Scotty, what's your thoughts on the horse pipe ban? And then two days later, it's, <coughs> he uses a colloquialism, I'm going to say, it's bucketing doon, because we don't do the language on the program, you see what I mean? Glen Gary Biscuit, Scotty. Oh, Steve, my man, we've talked about that. So there we are. Bring back the guys jumping about the streets selling candy apples. Oh, no, Rab Hill, they're not good for your teeth. The toffee apple, fantastic. Where is Derek Hart? Says John Crawford. Is Mad John so mad, Scotty? I haven't spoken to Mad John. My eyes have a cold nose. Means cold, a virus contaminated. No, no, it doesn't, Sharice. My eyes have a cold nose. Has anybody got this one? It's a biggie. All right, now, guys, if you know people in newspapers, television, radio, tell them that Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live. Tell them it's time that he was back on their station and that they should get in touch and uh, just swallow their pride. That's what to do. Erica Meyer, how are you? Love your jacket. Thank you, Erica. A wee bit of academia tonight. I've been out at a dinner, an old boy's dinner, so I thought I'd better get my garb on. Very, very important. Another show gone quick, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Steve Burrows, all the shows go quick. I can't believe how fast the show is. We've no sooner popped up than it's cheery bye time. We'll sing the goodbye song, though. So there are the lovely Sharice. Sharice, thank you. Guys, if you're feeling flush and you want to put a pound or five pounds into Scotty McClure's PayPal, paypal.me, right, forward slash Scotty McClure, all one word, you'll get it on the Scotty McClure website, www.scotty-mcclure.com. Or uh, if you go on to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure, gofundme.com, and you'll see it all on the Facebook page, so I don't really need to tell you all this anyway. Bring back the pink shell, all right, pink paraffin, do you remember pink paraffin? Remember pink stamps? Aha! Uh -huh. Remember green shield stamps? They were great. What could you make live videos more eye-catching would be if you created, maybe created a background that correlates with you, Scotty. This is Lisa Clark talking a lot of sense here. Uh, Scotty McClure, everyone would know exactly what to look for on a Sunday night when, and she says, see more. Lisa, I can't press the see more because I might lose the whole broadcast. This equipment is so sensitive. Gone are the days when I was surrounded by lovely big, clunky switches and faders and press button carts for my brakes. Now everything's tiny and ever so sensitive and you can touch something and lose the whole program. Hello from Paisley, says uh, Peter Ewing. So there we are, fantastic. We've said hello, respect Scotty, respect to you guys. I had a blue yo-yo out of Woolworths, it was a beauty. In the late 60s, Scotty. Yeah, and how many uppies and doonies could you do on your blue yo-yo? So there we are. Sharice, fantastic. Brave heart. What type of biscuit flies? Says Annette Hunter. I don't know, Annette Hunter. What kind of biscuit flies? So there you are. Do tell me. 
Uh, Glen Gary Biscuits going to school in Mary Hill, says Stephen McMahon. Absolutely up to the Mary Hill. Fantastic stuff. Great McCrew stronghold there. A wee plain one. Yes, they were great films, says Potter Hare. The Alistair McLean's very good films. Dean Shortbread, oh, advertising, Charisse. My goodness, I'll have to send you the bill. So there we are, Dean Shortbread. Lots of lovely shortbread. Another great shortbread, of course, is Walker's shortbread, Crawford's shortbread, all these tremendous shortbreads. Have to advertise a few if we're advertising, you see. Always, because Scott McClure is massive. Tonics tea cakes cannot be beaten. So there we are. So there we go, Douglas McPherson. Yes, the Tonics tea cakes, superb. Lovely stuff, and of course, I've met the Tarrant family. Lovely, lovely people. There we are. Gary Crossan, dinky do to you from Scott McClure. It's time I wasn't here. Talk radio chats to McClure. Spend Sunday nights talking to you. Excellent wee poem there, Gary. Tremendous. What's the time? Has anybody got the time? I'm going to have to dash. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be late. Right. I've got to go. Right, we're on the move. I'm absolutely maxed out these days. But um, there's always time to talk to you. Always time to broadcast on the telly and the radio. So come on, radio and telly controllers. Man up or women up. Get your act together and get McClue live on the wireless so the nation can join in and give you a proper audience. All right? So there you are. And that will shove it right to the opposition, the competition, whoever I'm working for, the competition trembles in their boots. Okay, have to be careful how you say, yes, you do, Eddie Doby Senior. Love your jacket and tie, says Erica Meyer. How's the fox? The fox is gorgeous. Our weekend highlight makes Love Island look... <laughs> Scotty, you're far behind. I'm away and ahead in comments. You are, but darlings, I've got to dash. What a fabulous program tonight. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Thanks for joining us. Keep sharing and sharing and sharing this program. This is the big one. This is the future for television and radio. We'll get the lighting right. We'll get the background right. Keep sending me a few pounds. We'll crowdfund it and we will build this program, guys. Dinky do. I'm going to sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of the Tarzan, au revoir, and a cheery oh. Cheerio, my darlings. Have a fabulous week. There's a Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you.